We were moving through the countryside on horseback near San Ignacio, Belize, on our way to the Mayan city of Shunantinich. At the end of the ride, before entering the ruins, we had the opportunity to meet an important local Mayan artist, Jorge Luis Castellanos. Jorge's name Castellanos is appropriate because he grew up here in the village of Sukoch, in the shadows of Shunantinich's El Castillo, the tallest man-made building in Belize. He specializes in the ancient art of carving his designs into stone, the way his Mayan ancestors did. Many modern artists use an easier, less dynamic technique called etching, which merely scratches the surface of the stone. But Luis uses the ancient technique of carving deeply into the stone, which can actually change its form. And he explained the importance of what he does. I'm a Mayan descendant, and this is the way I try to represent my culture. Because what I've seen after all these years, because I'm working this over 20 years, what I've seen is that over the years we're losing a lot of tradition and a lot of culture. So I believe that the only way to preserve it is by doing the right thing, and that's why I carve the stone. Because most people, what they're doing nowadays, they're just etching the stone. I'm into this not for a business. I'm into this to bring back my culture and what the ancestors used to do. What is to carve the stone, make the reliefs, and give life to the stone. Not just etch a piece of stone, but give life to a piece of stone. And I think that's very important. And we're losing a lot of that. So that's my job as a Mayan descendant to keep it alive. You know? It was my son's birthday and in a tradition that reaches across different times and cultures, Jorge presented him with a gift, a miniature Mayan calendar to wear around his neck. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I'll fix it up for you. Experiences Gracias. like meeting Luis are what the road less traveled is all about. Happy birthday, man.